all hi guys and girls and welcome to a new Keyforge gameplay video here on my channel. This time we are going to use the deck Castor der Wohltätige. We did use this uh, before on my channel. The reason I decided to use this once again for a video is because of course the SS update uh, came about. We are now at version 5.0 and this actually as you can see lost 3 points which from my competitive decks which I like count every 70 from above is uh, is the biggest lo point loss I got through the SS update. So I, I thought, okay, that's a nice reason just to play it again to like, see. Like, of course, it's always difficult to tell if you can't take SS 100% seriously. But I thought, let's just try it again since it was quite it was quite a while since I be used it on the channel. And we see like, is it is it is it correct that they've got the drop or is it not? I just thought it's a fun experiment here to do with this deck right here. And uh, yeah, like I said, I did the use before, it's fun stuff with uh, library access together with Time Traveler, some fun mass stuff, annoying disc stuff, and uh, yeah, let's just hop into some games. I am going to be on the competitive level of that, so I might have to cut before we find a match. Uh, competitive, there we go. Uh, I should have it, I should have it in my list here somewhere, but it might be in the later pages, since I can remember, yeah, there it is. That is, but uh, yeah, like I said, competitive player takes always a while, so yeah, I will cut till we have a match. And here we're back, we do have a match versus Manelli, who selected his deck. Let's hop in, wish him a good luck and fun, of course, her. And he's using V Counting, Explorer of the Lost Crucible, which is a Plague Red deck. Interesting. Let's start the deck. I don't like my deck is not too board dependent, so I'm not too worried about the whole Plague Red thing. Uh, we are the first player. Mm, I think I actually like the sand as a first player. We start off with the Ember Imp, which if he, my opponent doesn't have an answer for that, just limits him to two cards, which is pretty nice. And theoretically, statistically, he has the least amount of answers he has in hand right now. <laughs> it's the most, it's the least likely that he has an answer for, for any card in hand right now, since he didn't got to draw something and keep it in hand. He just has these five cancels right now. He did Mulligan as well. And yeah, just. Statistically, this is the best uh, place uh, to play a card like this. And seems he does indeed does not have an answer. He can play one more card. I mean, what could he have in Logos? Yeah, Alpha Bot. Okay, I can't play a third now. Because, yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna go with this again. Just gonna play the Shuffles as well as the Pit Demon. Then discard sadly my Trubaru since I don't have enough Ember and I want to draw cards and then Reap. So they do want the library access to play together with the help of yourself, that's pretty nice. Maybe you can hope for some more Logos cards, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And he goes with Mars, okay. So there might some stuff happening. Uh, if the board stays like this, I'm just gonna go with this again. Play the Mind Barb, steal a bit, reap a bit. In the hopes of drawing a fourth uh, Logos card. But we will see, already a third Mars card, so we, I can call Mars again. But yeah, of course all depends what he goes, what happens here. He goes with one Agent 2 man. And one destruction Elizabeth. Okay, so probably getting rid yeah, gets rid of my Ember Imp there. So you can play some more cards. Make sure if he wants to. Or if he even can. I don't know how many mass cards he has in hand. Yeah, he has a mind worm. And yeah, I'm fine. Like I said, I'm fine with calling this again at this point. I do have the uh, Monarch Clouds, which currently both board wipe. So I'm just gonna do this. Uh, then I'm gonna steal one, and then I'm gonna reap again, and just gonna end the turn there. Do draw biomedics backup, so we could just go with Mars again and try to get the big library access going, which this deck loves. This is like the big thing with this deck, it's going for the huge library access. So I wouldn't mind actually going for Mars next turn, go use the Ammonia Clause to most likely board wipe, since he can probably destroy some stuff on my side. And then play the uh, Zookeeper and put that. Okay, he trades Shuffles versus, Ma versus the, this guy, then he reaps, and what else do we see? What else do we see? Uh, my uh, pit team actually will survive. Okay, this will die to Ammonia Clouds as well. This will die to Ammonia Clouds as well. So I'm definitely fan. This Ammonia Clouds is looking pretty nice. And for so to archive some stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely going for, with Mars here. Can reset the board. My pit team actually will survive. Get the Zookeeper on board together with the Biomedics backup. Sadly, it doesn't get me into check, but like I mentioned, it helps a lot in, in the scenario of helping me getting the biggest library access possible. And end the turn, and there we go. Okay, perfect. We even have the phase shift, which is definitely what you want with library access. The Neuro Siphon, I w most likely won't be able to enable due to him only having two Ember and me already being at five. But still, definitely a fan of seeing the stuff I'm seeing right here. 
the out of library access. Hopefully draw the draw the uh, time traveler. That would be the best because if you draw a time traveler, we, you can see a fun combo with this deck. But first, we will see of course how the opponent wants to do. He didn't call shadows yet, so he doesn't is like he didn't use his uh, his his plague rats yet. Team Black Dad, who both likely put my Zookeeper in Archives, or he maybe wants to get off uh, Pit Demon as well. Both works. Okay, puts my Zookeeper in Archives, which is fine with me. Because the perfect combo would be to. Uh, I would love to draw. I, I would draw a total of 1, 2, 3, 4 cards with the card that would play Phase Shift. So, it's. I mean, I have to hope that the Time Traveler maybe is in that. But if I would actually have them, that would be awesome. Because then I can, like I said, the combo would be to play the Time Traveler first. Then kill him with the turbo mission and then get him back to play him again with health and future self. Okay, mass first there, and yeah, we definitely go with Logos here. We first, uh, no, we don't need archives, play the library access. Then first, let's play the phase shift and see if we can draw something. Okay, then let's play the Norisiphon. Uh, then it's the question, uh, you can probably hope to draw something better for the phase shift. So let's go with the. I mean, now it doesn't matter. Let's play you first, maybe you can. Uh, no, it doesn't matter if you draw him or not, since we can't destroy him. So let's just play the help of yourself now. Uh, get the time traveler uh, done. There we go. I should actually play this first because then this would be shuffled back into the deck. Potentially we could draw more logos cards. But yeah, let's play the Trimble Demission for no target. Let's play the time traveler to draw some more. And okay, we see all this stuff, a lot of stuff right here. And we are check, and we can play one more card. And currently it looks like I want to play the key to this. And we have a handful of mass and even <laughs> archives, so mass is most likely what we're going for next. Just end the turn there. Be a check with nine ember. Like I said, could have done, could have, it could have been very insane if you would have drawn the time traveler because if you, if you were able to use them again, stuff like this. But what can you do? We most likely will go with mass next turn. We can play a lot. Can board by basically anything. We have a cure of this and double uh, ammonia clots again, and then fill the board with our creatures. Looking strong, looking strong for sure. Oh, and does go with Logos again. Interesting. Does he have Graph or something like that? Didn't look about that. No. But he does have uh, Director. Okay. Like I said, I'm, the board is not going to stay for a whole long. <laughs> the board is going to be gone very soon. Does he have like Poltergeist or something like that? No, he does not. So yeah, I'm going to forge my key. I'm going to go with Mars. Um, he does have the plague red things. Uh, do you want to destroy the artifacts currently just for an ember? No, I don't really want to. Yes, I do want my archive back, but let's discard you. Let's play the first ammonia clouds. Let's discard the other one. And let's play these creatures. Yes, they're most likely gonna die since he didn't play a single plague red yet. But still, puts, puts him out of my hand and allows me to draw more cards. Which is always nice. Like I said, I I wouldn't like. I'm, it's very likely that now some plague rats will hit the field and my board will be wiped since he has <laughs> he has seven of them in the deck and not a single one hit the field yet. And he already you know he only has 19 cards left in the deck with what he has in hand, 11 in the deck and yeah, two in archives. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if we used to yeah. There's shadows. My, even might see uh, Brand hitting the field first. Yeah, there he is, and then he gets destroyed with some plague rats. First one, and then he only needs the second one. There he is. To kill all of this stuff, steal three from my side. Uh, yeah, not not too surprising there for sure. Not too surprising there. Um, do we just go with this right here? I think we do. Do I board wipe him? Do I board wipe him? Yes, I do. I think. Right. I mean, he still has enough plague rats. So the damage doesn't really matter if he does like one or two damage to me. At least I could like slow him down in that regard. Mm, but I could wait for more as well. No, let's do it. Let's don't do it yet. Discard the fear. Play the dust imp. I mean, I could have played the fear as well to not make him so he can reap for one less. Let's just keep it at that. Let's keep it at that for now. He has nothing to bounce, right? He has like no bounce or something like that effects or archive my creatures. No, he does not. So, if once I play the True Barrow, I'm basically guaranteed to gain the ammo once he's destroyed. And if he wants to use Plague Rats right now to board wipe again, then that's fine with me as well. Because then, like, the Ember Imp dies, and I do have enough for the True Barrow to put him on the field. Okay, 
do see Logos though. Interesting. So we can only play two cards there. Uh, he does have the uh, Neutral Shark, which could uh, uh, get rid of the Ember Imp there, so he can play more cards, which he didn't play yet, so it's likely he has them. Okay, first card is going to be Jagoggle. Second one is going to be the Neutral Shark to kill Jagoggle. Yeah, that is, so he might be able to play a card right away with the Jagoggle. If he wants to. Ah, he can't even just get rid of the Heatudus, which would be a bit annoying. Okay, and plays the Key Reduction. Okay, seems. I don't know why he wanted to play that necessarily. Yeah, he kills the this card and the thing and then the Igor. Oh, honestly, fine with me. All oh, fine with me. I can replay the mind map and actually keep the dust imp on on hand and still have the true barrow on board. So let's go with this. Review. Play the mind map. Make him discard one plague rat. Play the true barrow. Play the pit demon. And now we have seven potential ember on board. So once he board wipes too much, I will just get a key right away. I mean, do draw some nice logger stuff to, for a potential strong turn there. Yeah, it's the first time I play versus like a, this much. Like I played with decks before, which had like four plague rats, but this is like the first time I play with like a, a, a with a lot of rats, <laughs> a big red deck. If that makes sense. Can he actually steal enough if he gives me seven? Yes, uh, but the brand is gone. He has the nerf blast, which could steal one, which is not enough since I would get seven ember out of this. I might sucker punch my pit demon here to kill him with just one rat and keep my true barrow alive. No, he kills a dust imp though. Interesting. So he's fine for giving me these two ember. And then he reaps two times. Mm. Does he have any other. Does this keep. Is it worth keeping my uh, older guys for something? Here's the mother gun. But now I can, I can destroy my gun, which is like something. Okay, I would love to see Nerf Blast here. Oh, I would, I would actually would be cool because that would enable the Nori System for me to draw a card. But he does not, sadly. Um, which. Mm, I actually just want to go with Logger still. Play these two on the flanks. So the key costs only four. Four. Then I can Norris Siphon for one Ember and I can Fairy Shift into Poltergeist for the fourth Ember and now I'm theoretically at check. I mean he can just get rid of the Titan Mechanics to do something about that but theoretically I'm, I'm at check right now. Do see Shadows again. If he plays another Plague Rats my uh, True Barrel will die and I will get the key as well since I gained five Ember. So that would be that. Uh, he could steal one with just a Nerf Blast. No, wait, no, wait. Play the, didn't he play the Nerf Blast earlier? Mm, no, he actually didn't. He did Sucker Punch here. Yeah. Yeah, he Sucker Punch to kill more Pit Demon. And then he could just reap four times. Would make sense as well. There's the Nerf Blast. There is indeed the Nerf Blast. Yeah, then he just reaps a whole lot. To be a check himself. Okay, uh, Dimension Door would only be able to steal me two right now. Uh, I think I rather at this point go with Mars? Question mark. Could make him force to pay seven. Mm, I could go with Logos as well. Kill these. Uh, I can't kill these two without some board right now. If I go with this. Yeah, then it only would cost him five. No, I think going for mass makes the most sense. Just play the key abduction, get one zookeeper here, get the grabber jammer here. So he has to pay a total of seven at least. And we do need to find a way to get rid of True Barrow soon, because we do want that ember. We do want that ember. Okay, he, has, he goes to Shadows again, goes to the Sucker Punch. Mm, yeah, it's actually problematic right now since he will gain a lot of ember. Kills my zookeeper. And if he reaps now three times, he will be a check. I can prevent that with uh, with, uh, with this, which is a good news at least. 
Yeah, I can press it this, so that's good news. We could play you here. They can discard. Play you to the left to make you lose an ember. And the cost is still 7. And then actually we reap a few, then it would be a check. Mm, yeah, I think. So we fight, we get, don't get to we don't get to kill you, sadly. So let's reap for now, be a check. And then this will control the weak potentially still with oh no, I, I think we lost this though, since my deck doesn't have enough ember control there. He just goes with shadows again. So you can't just go with shadows again here, yeah. Like a punch to kill my shuffles. Yeah, I mean key reduction already played, so it's not like I can like key cheat my way out of this. And currently I can only get rid of two ember. So if he reaps four times, uh that's that's it. Now that's the weakness of the deck for sure. It doesn't have the best ember control. So yeah, the problem was I didn't have my, my board wipes here. My ammonia cloud, something like that, to like combat this shadow spot. Gives me the ember, but yeah, it's still doesn't matter at all. There's now a play to play grad. So I'm at 11 ember right now, but yeah, now, now I can't see anything anymore. And yeah, it is a loss. I just call this whatever, call make him call Mars, and doesn't really matter. It's a GG. GG. Yeah, the the I couldn't really combat the plague rats because my all my Normalia clouds I got in a different point in the game. So yeah, we do lose this one sadly. Surprisingly, the beginning was looking very good, but in the end he just outreaped me, and I didn't had uh, maybe I could have played differently to get rid of them. But I don't really I don't really know what I could have done different. But yeah, let's just look for a new one. Let's just oh yeah, uh, let's just look for a new competitive game. Like I said, if it takes too long, I will just cut. But yeah, let's see. It was on page two. Oh, we found a mock opponent right away. Mr. or Mrs. Frankie, let's hop right in and get a win with this. Like I said, we did got a, we did get a good uh, library access going, but then at the end, like I said, he we, he just outwrapped us. He had four creatures on the board which we couldn't combat really with what he had. Uh, ammonia clouds, uh, yeah. I mean, he he pl played well around them. That we might have had the play with a lot in hand and just played well around them. Uh, do we want to keep this hand? We are the first. No, I think we want to mulligan this. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Because any time you can start with the Library of the Damned, first turn, it's a it's a good turn. We can start archiving all local stuff for, like I said, the big Library Access turn. Let's look, a quick look at the opponent's deck. It is a uh, Kota with Cleansing Wave and a lot of creatures and some stuff. We do see three mass creatures. Let's go with this ourselves. Play the key to this to pre uh, basically uh, prepare a ward wipe. And then archive the, I guess, help for the cell for now. And then enter turn. And there we have the time traveler already. Okay, now I don't mind going with Logos earlier and playing the time traveler and stuff like that. But do have the help for the cell already in the archives and just go with this again, okay? And the pit demon. So yeah, I think the that just board wiping is probably what makes the most sense here. Because it doesn't back to hand, which is fair. Yeah, the, the key to this is it's gonna happen. I'm gonna most likely gonna go with Logos and just play. I mean, I could go with I could go with Mars. I don't really gain much. Uh, yeah, purge them to make them stronger, which is fine. I'm just gonna go with uh, Logos. That's no, we don't need archives. Make the board go boom. Put the time travel on board. Draw two cards. Ah, sadly we draw the Norse from there. Now, but we will shuffle it, shuffle these cards back in the deck either way. Let's do opponent's hand. We do see Landis Whispers, Earth Dress, Nerfless, Sanctum Guardian, Terror, Lights Out. I mean, you won't play the Lights Out obviously, because that will shuffle <laughs> cards back into my hand, which he really shouldn't, doesn't really want there. But yeah, let's keep it like this. Uh, you guys go Shadow, so you have the Landis Whispers and the Nerfless and the Lights Out. So he could nerf blast my and lens whispers my true power creatures and then lights out my Titan Guardian. Which definitely he could do. Okay, he wants to take a damage on Titan Guardian, interesting. Yeah, to give him on the flank and then lights out he will play? Most likely not, right? Because Oh he does play light out. He has to, he has to bounce two, right? Return, yeah, not up to you have to return two, so I get my time traveler back. Interesting decision there. Definitely interesting decision there. Allow me to get my time traveler back in hand. 
But yeah, I can't prevent this key. I don't have the correct things in hand for that. I just go with Mars. Uh, no. I discard you, I play you, and I play you, and I play you. Because if I play Logos, I would just make the key one cost one less, and uh, my disc is currently not looking pretty st very strong. Uh, we do draw two Mars cards back. That's kind of sad. That's not something you really want to see. But still, we do still kind of get all our Logos. Just draw two more cards and hopefully get something good. Hopefully get something good there. Or we could just go with Mars again. Like I said, getting the the Byron's backup on time travel is nice as well. Like that, this is definitely a weakness of the deck. I don't have great Amber control. I do have decent Amber control, but definitely not great. Not great at all. But how this deck wins is by just drawing way more and going from there. Um, but yeah, I think I think we just go with Mars again, right? Yeah. I'm feeling Mars again, and mm, nope, we don't need the archives. Or do I? No, we, j we still keep it. Like I don't really mind giving him this back. It's not too big of a deal. We discard you, then we play the Biomedics to back up on you. We reap a few to do T damage, and then we reap a few to archive you, and then end the turn there. Like I said, this is not a card. Like I'm. Yes, I will. At some point, I want my help from yourself back. But currently, I'm not too, too, too worried. We do still do have a Tumult Emission, right? So we could actually get our combo off with Tumult Emission, Diaper Access, and playing Time Traveler twice. Which would be pretty cool. But we will see if Ash can manage to do that. Uh, okay, see so Toxin as well. So most of us are just going to go with Mars again, because the, the Amber Amp. Just going to go with Mars again. No. Play you. And then, yeah, Reap with you to purge you. And then we with you to archive you because I don't want to I don't you don't want to archive play effects. And now I'm at check with seven. Uh, I usually I would have gone with uh, this there, but with the tox with the thing in board, there's not nothing really I want to. Okay, then this is just my thing and it's now in the archives, which is fine. I'm still at check right now, and he probably played. He could have the. Oh, I mean, he could have Carl Phantom plus one of his artifacts or Udbro. Bruno works as well. The Bruno works as well. And this card is Speed Sigil. And that's that. Um, I'm just gonna go with this. I can archive some more. Uh, no, don't need my archive right now. Uh, let's put the. Actually, put the Time Traveler in there, right? No, let's put Time Mechanic in there. And then discard the Poltergeist because I don't want to destroy my own stuff. Play you, and then make the opponent discard two cards. Cleansing wave and the Sigil of Brotherhood, which is pretty nice. Both from the same house. Okay, we, now we are getting close to the point where we do want our library access. We do want it for sure. Uh, we, we, yeah, definitely do want it soon. Because we're getting a lot of logo stuff in hand right now. Could just go with Mars again next turn, to be fair. The bot stays like this. Do we see Sanctum still? You know, I just discarded two cards of Sanctum. He still goes with it, so he's, he has to have some good cards there. We do we see the Raiding Knight and Staunch Knight, and that's it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with Mars then. Just gonna go with Mars. Uh, no, Archive don't need. Play you, play you. We reap with you to do two damage to you, and then we reap you as well to get into check. Still have all the potential embers sitting right there, and keep it at that. Still no uh, no access sadly, but next turn this is looking pretty nice. Or we could just keep going with Mars to be honest. If the board stays like this, we can't just keep going with Mars. But it's unlikely it stays like this. <laughs> Very unlikely. Yeah, the double mind bar really really helps in slowing down the opponent. It does go with shadows here. Okay, we do see the Sigil. Okay, no Cal Phantom then, at least, because otherwise he would have played... Oh, okay, he played the wrong way. He could have stolen one there. Plays the Urchin. Yeah, it looks like I'm just gonna go with Mars again. Use Obruno, yeah. This is just... This is another Mars turn. This is another... No, we don't need Archives yet. Play you as well. So first, we use your action ability to put one on you. 
then they can reap with you to purge you, get all this ember. Then we can... Honestly, just reap twice, right? He doesn't have too much protect or something like that. Mm, I have no reason not to just reap twice here. Get as much ember as possible. And then end my turn. We do have the key abduction, so that could lead actually to me get forging a key and then getting a key very soon again. But next turn I'm mostly gonna go with this. Just to control the weak him into something. Looking at the discard, I do have uh, one this and one shadows perch. Uh, then we have one, two, three, four, five, so six, seven discards gone so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shadows cards, and one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we definitely don't want him calling. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna go with uh, what you call it. With this next turn, gonna bounce this and forbid him something and then sanctum. Most likely force him to play shadows, I think. Or this, because what he hasn't this right now, what I could worry about. He hasn't a rise. Yeah, let's force him to play shadows. I think that makes the most sense. Fight the grabber jammer to get the ember back. Cleansing wave, for some ember, ember. And that's it. Not a check though. So yeah, we definitely go with this here. Uh, no, we don't want archive back. We first bounce you to get our ember ourselves. Then we can rip you. We can archive the dimension door. Why not? And then force him to play shadows right here. Because we don't want him playing the uh, uh, the the gatekeeper again. And there's our library access. So next turn, okay, this is looking actually pretty nice. Because we do have phase shift plus key reduction, and with all our logos cards, all the logos chains we do, we do have two emission as well. So it could just lead to us getting a free key with the with the key reduction. But we'll see. We will see. Definitely looking good though. Definitely looking great. The phase shift plus key reduction and all the drawing we're gonna do. But let's let's make this let's make this correct though first. But yeah, this looks pretty nice. This is definitely looking pretty nice. We do have three logos cards in the archives. Okay, fights the mind warper and then fights the tower shredder probably as well. To kill him with the yeah makes sense. Does make sense there. But yeah, I'm gonna go unforge my key, and I'm gonna go with uh, logos. Yeah, I'm gonna get my archive back. First things first, play the library access. Then let's play the phase shift first, first of all, to already see what we can do. Then let's play the time traveler. Then let's play the spectral tunneler. Then let's play the tight mechanic. Uh, let's play the next tight mechanic to the left. So even if he captures a lot, I'm still gonna be able to forge. Uh, play another tight mechanic here. Let's play the Dimension Door. Then now let's play the Twimbled Emission to kill our own Time Traveler. And to kill, um, let's see. Let's see, I think Kill Phantom. Makes the most sense, yes. Kill him. Then let's play the help of yourself to get the Time Traveler back. Play the Time Traveler again. Draw two more cards, play the two for you. We have another Twimbled Emission, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Play another Twimbled Emission to kill... Let's see, cost... do we want Time Mechanic on the flank? Yeah, I think we do. I think we do. We can kill you again and kill the Urchin, I think. And that's it in that regard. Now, I think the best actually is right now to just use this to play the control weak, force him not to not play Logos again, uh, to not play Sanctum again, so I get my key for free, and then I can still key abduction next turn to basically forge for free. So yeah, let's play the control weak out of the phase shift and force him into shadows again. So the gatekeeper, or what's it called the uh, the gatekeeper, gatekeeper's the name. He doesn't get to uh, capture all of my ember, and now I, he can forge for four, yes. But I will be able to forge very little as well, and then I have enough ember and enough cards in hand that the key abduction should give me a free key right here. Oh, I drew the Norris Siphon, I could have played that again. I've, with the control of the week, I did draw this Norris Siphon, so I could have gained even more ember there. 
But yeah, we like <laughs> this was this is the the perfect library access you want to see. Like we draw our whole deck and already a back at seven cards. So yeah, we have like we have our whole deck in hand, ba close to being at least close to that at least. And here's the go of shadows again, which he, he did play last turn already. So like I said, with key reduction, I this is pretty much GG. I don't think there's anything in shadows with uh, in uh, in this which can stop this. I will gain three ember. We'll be at if. It stays like this, 13 ember, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, I will forge for minus, uh, minus 6, minus 2 with these. Yeah, I, I, get, I get a key for free. <laughs> I already even thought about it in hand, and the key costs nothing. <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is a zero, 0 ember key, which we definitely like. Yeah, you can fight with something. Titan, which is fine. Like I said, these these don't matter. These definitely don't matter. We forge here, and then we go with Mars. Yeah, we do have enough Ember, like I said. We play the key abduction. Uh, yes, I wish to forge a key. Yeah, and like I said, we forge for zero Ember there, and that's a GG. And uh, yeah, zero Ember key. That's definitely pretty nice. But yeah, this is the perfect, like, this is how the deck usually works. This is like, well, not usually. This is like the dream of the deck, like I said. It's definitely not usually. You need to high roll the deck. A lot to manage to get a game like this. The first game was definitely showed the weakness of the deck, which is like the doesn't have a whole lot Ember control. Like if you look at the decks of Keyforge Link, it's only 6.1, so not too too high. Like I said, it's there, but versus like a rush shenanigans, it's definitely not doing doing the trick. But other than that, that is the gameplay for today. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. Hit me on Twitter, Facebook. All the links are in the description. And I will see you now. Time, ciao.